I'm Ken Coleman, and welcome to episode 20 of Daily Doodles. Today we begin a series. It will be a multi-parter, and I'm not entirely sure how long this will go, but I'm trying to dedicate enough time while dividing it up so that you aren't watching an hour or two of one drawing all in one video. Plus it would take forever to upload. All right, so I'm going to show you what the piece looks like now. Now this is a photo that I took on a overpass going over the Massachusetts Pike, the Mass Pike. And there is a chain link fence with all of these locks, and they're called love locks. I had to explain to my mom what these are. They are, and it's often found in Europe and other big cities, and um, I've heard that Prague is a big city for love locks. There is a Hallmark movie all about it. They are attached to the wall, to the fence, in recognition of a couple's relationship. So when I was looking at this piece, I was thinking that shape is so basic, so simple. And the red, it is just plain red. It's iconic as the red heart. And then you take that simplicity and make it a little tiny lock. I didn't look close enough to see if it is a combination lock or something. But when I was looking at it, I saw how paint gets worn away along the edges. How it may get coated with salt or dirt. This is just after... This photo is taken less than a week after a blizzard hit Boston. Gets all grimy, but it still stands there. It still has its vibrance and still has its shape. That endurance, I think, just adds to the romantic ideal of this love lock. So... I picked that for my piece. Now there are a few things that I'm going to be changing in this. The windows I'm going to have all be uh, I'm going to make them a little bit dimmer at least because right now these windows, the reflection of the sun, it is just taking too much of the attention from the eye when this is what I want to be the focal point. So the further we get into this piece, the more I'm going to look into what I can do about that. Have some reflection, but maybe do something like what is in these, what is in these windows. A reflection of another window which reduces the lightness here. Not so much have a problem with this one but that's because out in the distance it is drier, it isn't as bright. It's, it's, um, it just isn't as lustrous. All right, let's plunge in. Now I'm going to keep an eye on the clock. And sorry about that. I'm going to keep an eye on the clock and stop this about 20 minutes from now. And then I'll start the video for Daily Doodle 21 which will be the continuation. All right. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is get a rough idea of where these chain links are, and that will help with the placement of the heart. Try to get Photoshop to recognize my stylus. Every now and then there are some problems. Where I switch over to Photoshop and it doesn't recognize that I'm doing something inside here. It allows me to change the colors but not do much more. Took this photo maybe Wednesday. And I was so excited for the romance of this piece that I was a little half hearted about the uh, Daily Doodle 18. thinking, well, who needs a two-way signal blocker when you have this lovely piece? <laughs> no pun intended on the love. Dun -dun -dun. So the chain link is going to Where it goes down there. The next link to this side. I learned that this was official, that this is an official love link bridge by Googling. I Googled the location and asked and also queried the um, padlocks. This is this location right by the Heinz Convention Center train station. Subway station is right by um, the Berkeley College of Music, uh, Berkeley School of Music, a uh, famous music school. And I wasn't sure if this was just an end of the year tradition for students over there, leaving the lockers from the lock onto this fence. And I found out that this is even more special. This will be link. There are so many locks on this bridge that originally I just wanted to get something vibrant, something that was a magenta one that leapt out from all this gray weather. But seeing this little heart 
and I couldn't help myself. Simplicity and sweetness. If one of you, my viewers, if this coincidentally is the heart that you left on this bridge, I will be astonished by the coincidence, and I hope that your relationship is still as it is. As the legacy of this act of romance still stands firm. There we go, a little bit additive, a little bit subtractive. And I'm starting to feel out the shape of this heart. Feel like the shape of your heart is some boy band song. I may be wrong, but intuitively it feels like something of that sort. I didn't mean to do that. You there. And I am going to try to do most of the background. Got this in between the background the um, background layer and the top layer. Looks like I might need to remind Photoshop that I'm using it. Never mind. Silly me. So how has your week been? What are your thoughts on these uh, love locks? I'd love to hear your opinions on this. Part of me wanted to do this piece for a Valentine's Day video series. But another part of me was so anxious and excited to get to paint this piece in time for right here and now. The middle of February is, it can be pretty cold and dreary in Boston as well, but with the weather we've been experiencing, I feel that this Works. I 
that this is a bit of romantic positivity that is needed. This is mostly just blocking off the space. Knowing where everything is going to be. Where it can be a little bit lighter. Go. In this location, Newbury Street, a famous, shock, a famous shopping area in Boston, is just past this wall and under these buildings. Keeping an eye on the clock so that you can get as many preliminaries done right now as possible. Give you a strong idea of where this is going. Sorry, I've had spaghetti and uh, egg. Ugh. I've had spaghetti and chicken parm for dinner tonight, and the sauce isn't always agreeing. I told my doctor that it is like the uh, Star Wars villain with the that emits the sound from the like gills on the side of his throat. It's all a species of people. It's like, Aah. he was like, well, okay, but this isn't Star Wars. <laughs>
going to do a separate layer for the heart. And above. So I'm a very sappy romantic. Love rom coms and on Valentine's Day I just sat at home during a blizzard watching a marathon of How I Met Your Mother. H I M Y M. It's one of those abbreviations that you aren't as familiar with saying aloud or familiar with just spelling. Little tiny point. Keeping the time, keeping an eye on the clock. Start dipping into these rosy colors. Which only makes us more and more romantic. Ice and dirt on the heart may not be as romantic. But it's the, um, it shows some character. It might sound cliche to say this, but it's like seeing weathering on uh, film props. It's not pristine, and the fact that it isn't pristine shows that it's gotten somewhere, it's been used. It's been applied to people's lives. Those hard edges. I think that each of these little imperfections on the heart are so perfect. Their randomness in the way that they have added to the um, uh, uh, painted metal. There was another heart lock on this fence. Uh, looked like a very carefully crafted metal and brass and looked a little golden. 
might not have been technically golden. And it had the people's initials on them, which I hear is another big part of this tradition. Now, when it came to finding my still life subject, the simplicity, sort of the austerity of this one, was what made this lock something that I favored even more. This is about time for the video to end. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoy this video, if you're excited to see where it's going, please give it the thumbs up. There's also an option to subscribe down below and even hit the bell if you want to get emailed alerts when a new video is coming up on my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.